Suzuki likes to take its own sweet time when it comes to building a perfect machine. And the vehicle we are about to review today keeps that tradition alive. It comes via the CKD route to our country all the way from Japan. Welcome to Downshift and say hello to the all new Suzuki Freestorm 650. The moment you look at this machine, it screams the word adventure. With a signature peak up front and ample amount of ground clearance. V twin engine for that early torque delivery. Analog digital instrument cluster, which might be dated in today's standards, but shows you all the information that you need while you're out on the road. Adjustable windscreen, unfortunately, not on the fly. 20 liters of fuel tank so that you can go the distance. So, it's time to thank the good folks at B and Takusu who are the authorized dealer for the sale of this motorcycle. If you plan on buying this machine, don't forget to contact them. I'll also leave their location link in the description box below. Well then. Is this the middleweight adventure motorcycle India has been waiting for? Well, it's time to find out. The moment you set off, you are greeted by this wonderful talk band, delivered from the supremely refined V-twin engine very linearly. Talking about the brakes, the rear brake, it has good amount of initial bite and good progression as well. The same cannot be said about the front brakes. They lack the initial bite, however, have good progression, which is actually what you need when you're taking this motorcycle off-road. But when you think about it, it's more of a compliment than a flaw, which justifies its dual sport characteristic. Talking about the windscreen, well, it deflects a good amount of hot air away from the rider. The sun might be making us sweat, but the Suzuki V-Storm 650 is definitely not. This motorcycle can keep its cool very well. Heat dissipation from the V-Twin engine is channeled very well through the motorcycle. The mirrors may not be the most stylish thing to look at, but they are definitely very functional. They give you a good view of what is there at the back. I don't know how Suzuki manages to do it, but they nail their suspension setup. This motorcycle has a very good ride quality, with the preload adjustable monoshock giving you some crazy amount of cornering ability as well. Coming to Suzuki's seamlessly working traction control system, well, it has two modes, regular, rain. But if you want to have some fun off the beaten path, well, you can switch it off as well. Let's take a detour, shall we? In path, the spoke wheels can take some serious punishment, letting you have the fun. Unfortunately, the ABS cannot be switched off, which is a bit of a bummer. Time to address the elephant in the room should you be buying one. With the package and the price tag this motorcycle comes with, making it apt for our Indian condition. Well, that's all from the house of Township. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to Goa's first ever motoring channel. Until next time, bye-bye.